State broadcaster CCTV confirmed earlier this week that the first batch of J-16s had been deployed to the People's Liberation Army's Western Theater Command, which includes the Xinjiang and Tibet military districts, and is responsible for border security along the contested Himalayan frontier with India. But defense experts said the J-16 had now been deployed to all five PLA theater commands, noting that the new generation aircraft was going to replace the aging J-7, or JH-7 Flying Leopard fighter bomber which had served the armed forces for three decades. Aircraft replacement is not taking place just in the western border, as China needs more long-range advanced warplanes to deal with increasing provocations from the United States and its allies in the South and East China Seas, where the PLA's key strategic focuses are. A military source told the Post that the production of J-16 jets could be boosted by the homegrown WS-10 engine, which could be fitted for several aircraft like the J-16, J-11, J-10 and J-20. The J-16, meanwhile, made its first secret test flight in October 2011 and was formally put into service in 2016. It was designed to be one of two strategic partners of the PLA's most advanced J-20 stealth fighter after the J-10C. The J-16 model, with a 12-ton payload, almost the same as the US F-22, based on a number of earlier jets, including the Russian Su-27 and Su-30, as well as China's indigenous fourth-generation J-11B. As a key partner of the J-20, the J-16 fighter bomber's larger payload could boost airstrike capacity and let the inferior J-10C take care of land attacks, according to Zhou Chunming, a researcher from the Beijing-based Yuan Wang military science and technology think tank. China expects the U.S. to deploy at least 300 advanced aircraft to the Asia-Pacific, including the F-22 and F-35s to the Asia-Pacific, with 200 of them belonging to American allies. So the PLA needs to be armed with a certain number of J-20 and J-16, Joe explained. The new J-16D fighter jet designed for electronic warfare made its debut in September 2021 at the Biennial Zhuhai Air Show.